Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video we have some news related to Windows 11 24H2 and starting with the build 26212, the latest build from the Canary channel. Inside this build there are some new features and new things that are discovered, especially related to the start menu, but in this video I'm also going to mention some other things that were discovered by Albacore on Twitter. We're going to have his Twitter link in the pinned comment below so you can follow him from there because he discovers a lot of these really deep and hidden new features inside the operating system. So if you enjoy videos like these in which we talk about different Windows 11 new features or hidden features, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. This video is sponsored by Private Internet Access. A virtual private network or VPN for shorts hides your IP address and safeguards your internet connection through an encrypted tunnel. Streaming services such as Netflix have different library options based on where you are located. Using Private Internet Access, you will be able to watch those shows or movies that are not available in your current location. Make sure Sure to check out private internet access in the links from the description below for a great deal 83% discount and four months free so of course I think all of you know that Windows 11 24h2 is now being tested on the canary and dev channel builds and this is how the start menu looks like right now this is the default look if you have the scaling set to 150% or more as I am on this machine if I go to start settings basically you're gonna see that I'm on the default look of the start menu as discovered by Albacore on Twitter the start menu is very likely to become extensible Basically, as Albacore states, Windows 11 Build 26212 introduces support for start menu companions, which are some apps that provide adaptive cards which display on a floating or docked section with the start menu. And you're going to have here some screenshots provided by Albacore. As you can see, how this can look. And Albacore used here some widgets data to create a quick demo. So a huge shout out to him for providing screenshots on his Twitter here. As you can see, we have a look of the start menu with that docked or floating section in the right side. And we also have some settings related to it inside the settings section as you can see which is pretty interesting and we also have a, another variant supposedly that will have this docked section in the left side and I think this is looking uh, pretty weird if you ask me if this is the case I would prefer it to be on the right side now hopefully Microsoft will let us introduce useful information there maybe if we can introduce data from the task manager or something like that I think this could be pretty useful and of course weather info can also be useful inside the start menu as long as it doesn't affect resources hopefully now I'm looking forward to seeing your opinion in the comments below what do you think about this new look that is very likely to be tested on Windows 11 24H2 I think this is looking pretty good and also Albuquerque is stating that we will be able to configure companions through the settings personalization and start of course and it also features a list of installed companions with on and off toggles as well as a link to the provider site for customizations basically the same thing that we encounter in widgets and I think this is pretty interesting so in my opinion this is not really a bad idea for Microsoft but it depends on how they will implement it inside the operating system of course I'm really looking forward to seeing some of these bits live inside a build in future canary builds of course right now this is almost impossible to test out because of course you need to have some Windows expertise in order to enable and test out features like these but whenever we're gonna have these as hidden features of course I'm gonna make videos in which I'll show how to enable it how it works and so on related to the start menu we also have a concept created by firecube studios on Twitter and basically he's saying that it will look better if the apps and cards will be a part of the start menu and the start menu would look something pretty similar to the start menu in Windows 10. I think this is looking pretty good. You're going to see a screenshot of his concept and of course please state your opinion as well in the comments below. What do you think? Do you like the direction in which Microsoft is going or some of the concepts? For example this one created by Firecube. Also another thing spotted by Abacore in this build but basically there's a hidden ID and feature that can be enabled that will allow you to use Copilot as a result for your search if the settings app doesn't get any results for what you were searching. Unfortunately, I cannot enable that feature on this machine because I don't have Copilot enabled, but I'm going to show you how to enable it and then we're going to see a screenshot from Albacore on how that looks. Basically, you just need to use Vivetool. You can follow some of my previous videos if you want to see how to set up and use Vivetool and basically you need to run the command Vivetool slash enable slash AD 49445394. Press enter and you should be good to go. Successfully set feature configuration. Also, the ID was provided by Albacore and now you can see a screenshot from Albacore on how this will look. Basically, Basically, if you search for something that doesn't get any results, you can ask Copilot for Windows in Preview and this will be automatically sent to Copilot and you can get some results from Copilot. I don't think this is a useful feature for me at least, but could be useful in some cases, of course, if we look deeper into it. Also, there are some references that 
that the AI Explorer term may not be used publicly after all, get spotted by Albacore, but I'm not gonna go in depth with this because we don't have any info and Microsoft keeps changing things inside the operating system. So basically this is pretty much all we know in terms of hidden things in this build, the new start menu with tiles or the new floating section. We have this new settings feature and also some news related to the AI Explorer. Please don't forget to leave your opinion in the comments below because I'm looking forward to it. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.